Hey, I'd like to show you a new video on how to use your OLED display on your ESP32. As you can see, I've got a nice uh, image showing on this OLED display. So I'd like to show you how to do it inside the Chili Pepper ESP32 workspace. So you'll see I'm connected to my device. Um, I'll reset it for you just so you can kind of see. And then if you do things like heap, you can kind of see how much memory is available. And so the first thing you can do is you can look in the sample code. And there is some sample code here on how to do uh, your OLED display with text. And so you get two files, OLED test and zip with OLED. So the first thing you want to do is upload this. And that um, sends your file to the device. It compiles it. If you hit refresh here, you then have your ZipWhip OLED file and then you can upload your OLED test and run it and when that is done running you can see the display starts to show text so the uh, Lua firmware that's included in the workspace has two fonts you can see there's a small font here and a large font and then if you wanted to display an image there is another sample code file right here for an OLED XBM image. You can see there's a lot of data in it and then a couple of functions. So I'll just uh, upload that and run it just to kind of show you that working. And um, that's almost there. And oh, we still have our. So I'll reset it. We still have our timer running that overrides it. So I'll reset it and then I will refresh and that file should now be on here. Uh, let's go find it and we will run that. And there's your image. So if you want to do your own image, there is a really handy little XBM image uh, widget and so what I'll do is I'm just going to go to images.google and I'll grab an emoji in uh, let's go in black and white and we will go ahead and just grab uh, this let's say this emoji and we'll paste it in so this is pretty cool because you're just grabbing anything off the web and then notice it's 108 by 99 so I'll go ahead and generate the script XBM image one and I'll upload and run it. My display is only 128 by 64 so it will get cut off but it's still a pretty good example um, of how you can let's see of how you can kind of paste any image off the web and there we go there's our emoji. So let's just grab a small actually I'll show you an example if you grab too big of a one let's say that we're gonna do this one uh, the the widget will actually complain that it's too big. So you get this little error saying it's 349 by 332. So I'm going to cancel because if you let that go, it really runs super long. And let's maybe try and grab like an even tinier black and white one. You could try to do color, but you'll tend to end up um, with your black and white conversion not being what you wanted. So I'm pasting that one in. That's 65 by 65. That's pretty good. So XBM image 2. Let's go ahead and upload and run that. And then we should get a little bit better of a image that actually fits. And there's our beautiful emoji. Okay, and then I'm going to show you one last example where I'm actually using Photoshop to get the chili pepper logo. Um, so let's say I even want to kind of figure out where it's at or even resize it a little bit uh, so that it's you know middle of the display and then I'm just gonna select all do a copy merge and I should be able to just come right in here and paste and it is successfully pasting it in that's 30 by 58 I'll generate the script and I'll upload and run and then we should get a nice uh, chili pepper logo right in the middle straight out of Photoshop. Uh, you probably mostly use Photoshop in your normal workflow. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy using the Chili Pepper ESP32 workspace.